brings you to the following presentation of the NBA. Downtown Milwaukee is seen from the shore of Lake Michigan on a cloudless day. It's Friday night, and live on 2K Sports, we're going to bring you the NBA in all its excitement. Joined by Greg Anthony, Steve Smith, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Hey, Dave. Hey, Kevin. If you'll allow a D.C. kid to be a little parochial right now, while there are some basketball hotbeds throughout the world, Prince George's County in the heart of Maryland is among the finest. A litany of NBA players have come from PG, including Kevin Durant, Victor Oladipo, Markel Fultz, Michael Beasley, and Quinn Cook. KD said, it's just in the water. This is what we do. Guys? Great stuff as always, GA, thanks. And now the Lakers starting group. LeBron and Green make up the backcourt. Howard is out there with Anthony Davis, and it's Caldwell Pope in it small forward. And for the Bucks, the backcourt comprised of Bledsoe and Matthews. Middleton and Giannis are the forward tandem, and it's Lopez in at the center position. Well, great fans and players alike are excited for tonight. This is just not another game on the schedule. Clash of the Titans in this one. <laughs> this will be a great test for both teams. Here is Bloodson. Here's onto Takumbo. Great D that time from Davis. And not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that one. And you know, we always talk about this. Just changing the shot can be just as effective as blocking it, even though it's less spectacular. Now here is Davis after LeBron James's miss. Missing that one helps out all the analytical guys from the mid-range. And Giannis throws it down. A, a solid playmaker. Bledsoe has the vision to take advantage of an imbalanced defense. Now here's James. High post, Howard. LeBron kicks to Green. Down to five on the shot clock. Bledsoe against James. No good with the layup. And it's Bledsoe with the ball for the Bucks. And Eric Bledsoe, a special kind of athlete. And three separate knee surgeries in the rear view. But still so fast, his teammates call him Ferrari. The way he's built, a muscle car might be more accurate. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. And how about last season? Made about 79% of his attempts. So those are really quality numbers. First one falls for him. Uh, an underrated two-way player. Bledsoe wows you with his offense, but he's also made the all-defensive first team. And Eric Bledsoe drops them both. Here in the first, a little over a minute played so far. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. And again, no good by the Lakers. Yeah, scoreless here early after their first four shots. They right now are searching for a bucket. Matthews dishes the blood zone. Pass to Lopez. Over Green. Lopez passes to blood zone. And he lays it straight in. And there are few with a more explosive first step than Bledsoe. Gets the angle at will. James looking around. Kicks to Howard. Pass to Caldwell Pope. No good on the three. Yeah, trying to get going here, but that's an offer for the first five here to start the game. For three, Middleton 
Green with the rebound. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. LeBron outside. Outside, Green. Pulls from the top of the key. James, no good. He's kind of lost his way this period, having a hard time getting anything to go down. I mean, he looks like a running back in the open field. Bledsoe likes to take advantage of fast break opportunities. Here is Davis after Eric Bledsoe's score. Outside, Davis. The dish to Howard. Green passes to James. Can they get it? The Lakers get it back in a new 14. He gets it in there. And really, there's no reason why Howard can't at least be boxed out. When he comes up with these rebounds, it's night-night for the defense. Giannis kicks to Matthews. Pass to Bledsoe. Giannis against Davis. Here's Giannis. A shot that time, not on target. Davis with some nice D. And the Lakers get it back. Here's Howard. His second shot goes in. Off to a good start, two for two. And that's a lesson for the D. Fight harder on the glass. Reason why, lack of focus, lack of communication, which led to second chance points. And Milwaukee calls their first time out of the game. Greg, I think of you in a New York Knicks uniform, legendary arena you played in. What was that experience like? Kevin, intense. I, I remember <laughs> the first time I suited up in a preseason game, we played the Dallas Mavericks. Both teams went up and down the court three times and nobody scored, and the fans started booing. And that's when I knew this is a little bit different. Uh, you better bring your A game. And thicker skin, correct? That too, yeah. And fortunately, there was no social media or internet back then. Goodness gracious. <laughs> Platoon swap here for Milwaukee. Bucks leading by four. Now here is Hill. And he lobs it up toward the rim. Stolen by McGee. Here's Caruso. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. There was a mix-up defensively. Left him all alone. He just couldn't hit it. Lakers trail by four. It's Kuzma penetrating. Lopez with the block. And that is the length of Robin Lopez on display. Lopez with the steal. And Hill has it in the corner. Ilya Sova. They get it back. They shoot again. Still looking for his first make after that miss. He's 0 for 2. And it's Rondo with the ball for Los Angeles. To the middle. Kuzma outside. Rebound by Ilyasova. Bucks leading by four. Outside Hill. Over Rondo. Milwaukee, no good that time either. Decent look for mid-range, but there may have been a better option for them in that set. The shot's good from McGee. Yeah, another nice bucket down low. They've really been able to work the ball into the post effectively here so far. Now, here's DiVincenzo. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. And the pass to Connaughton. And here is Lopez. No good, and they can't put an end to this drought. Pass to Rondo. Kuzma outside. And trying for the go-ahead basket, it doesn't go in. 
Here's Connaughton, guarded by Kuzma. And that one's good from Connaughton. And here's Rondo. Wants to get it to Morris and does. Good. And it's Rondo who picks up the assist. It, it really does make the game easy for your teammates when you can lead them to the rim that well with a pass. And still a close game as the first quarter comes to a close. Bucks lead by two. And we'll be back shortly for the start of the second quarter. And regarding the mental aspect of the game, Giannis Antetokounmpo had this to say earlier. Definitely the game has slowed down a lot for me. I'm able to know where my team is going to be. I'm able to get to my spots. And know, I know my spots. And uh, I don't score on accident no more. I score because I know, okay, I'm going to get to that spot, try to make a play for my teammate or make a play for myself. Well, Greg, that might be why they put up so many points. They all know the roles. They've got the right recipe for everything they want to do on offense. Yeah, his awareness plus unselfishness puts defenders in a no-win situation. And some good action in the books as we get back to the game that's been pretty close here so far. When you consider how the Bucks are doing, what do you guys think? Well, they used the fast break to generate some easy buckets before the defense could get set. You know this, the team that dictates the pace typically rules the roost. We see that here early on. Williams is out there with Kyle Korver. Then there's Dante DiVincenzo. Then there's Robin Lopez. And it's Hill in at the point. So that's who Milwaukee starts the second with. Now here's DiVincenzo. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Feeds it to Rondo. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. That one on Hill. Love Rondo down there on the block. Nice move to catch the D off guard. Los Angeles shooting their first free throws of this game. And they shot their free throws at a measly 73% clip over the course of last season. Shooting two. That free throw, no good. I know you grew up with aspirations of someday getting into politics. Any current players who you could see maybe taking that same route? No doubt. There, there are several guys uh, in today's game. Uh, you know, Harrison Barnes has has the polish, and I know he's had some thoughts that may be going in that direction. Uh, teammates nicknamed Malcolm Brogdon the president for his stately <laughs> demeanor and commitment to affecting change. I, I absolutely see him trying to have an impact socially moving forward. There, there are several guys, again, who not only have the voice, but the courage to speak out about things that matter most to them. Many sharp guys in the NBA. Never a bad idea to run the old pick play. Uh-uh, you're right. And if it produces a slam like that, we'll probably see more of them. Especially if the defense is going to allow you to do it. Have to switch on that play. Well, what you like about Williams is how he's changed his game over time. Now he's a fantastic stretch four in this league. And he's got his first free throw of the game. Two shots. The first one falls. A different look for Milwaukee. Matthews comes in for Kyle Korver. Eric Bledsoe is subbed in for George Hill. The Lakers also changing it up. Howard's checked in for Kyle Kuzma. And it's Caldwell Pope in for Rajon Rondo. And both free throws good for Williams. And at the line, it's all about consistency with him. His routine, his stroke, it never wavers. Middleton against Green. Fires for three. Los Angeles with another miss. Milwaukee leading by three. 
Williams dishes to Middleton. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. And GA Chris Middleton over his career much improved on the defensive end. A true two-way player. And I tell you, that 6'11 wingspan helps. Able to use that length to bother shots and disrupt passes. And the first one at the line is good. And really, from second round pick to all-star, Middleton's story, inspirational. Yet even now, it feels like some people continue to sleep on him. Lopez, he's checked in for the Bucks. Middleton hits them both. And they're really getting more points at the free throw line here in the second quarter. Outside, Davis. LeBron against Bloodsoe. James in the post. The shot misses. Great D that time from Giannis. And it's Antetokounmpo with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Bucks. In the second quarter, they've given up just three points. He gets a chance now to catch up with the fourth member of our crew, Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin. Well, if you just look for a few minutes at Giannis Adentacupo on the court, you know why he's called the Greek freak, but it's the drive that makes him an MVP. He said people try to make it complicated. Life is simple. You know what you want, go get it. Do what it takes every day and don't lie to yourself. Guys, I hope you understand I'm being truthful in all of these reports. Back to you. Love the intensity. David, thank you. Free throw good, Giannis. And we heard Shaquille O'Neal bestow his Superman nickname on Giannis Antetokounmpo, and rightfully so. The Greek freak, the most dominant paint scorer since Shaq himself. Misses off the left iron. You want to talk about ugly? This team is losing, partly because he hasn't drained a shot all night. That's a two from Matthews. And he can't extend the lead to double digits. And watching Antetokounmpo get to the rim, can G.A. take your breath away? <laughs> Man, he can go around you, through you, or literally jump right over you. Call him the freak, Superman, what have you. But none of it feels like an exaggeration. Banked in off the glass. Matthews has got the lead up to 10 now for Milwaukee. And it really helps their team so much with Middleton's passing with effectiveness. And it helps him out as a scorer. He's that much harder to defend. So timeout called here. The first for Los Angeles. Your son Cole Gregg was one of the top high school players in America. A lot of services had him number one. Talk about what it was like going through the recruiting process as a dad. You know, it was it was fun for the most part because he really kind of kept everything in perspective. Uh, and the teams we dealt with, the schools we dealt with, man, they were all top notch. So that process about as enjoyable as one could ask for. But at the same time, it's still stressful, man. That's still your little guy getting ready to head off to college. Well, you're a dad and a proud one at that. Offensive rebound, James. Fouled on the shot and picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. And with that one, it ends in an 11-0 run by the Bucks. You know, Steve, one thing you admire about LeBron, how he shapes a possession for his team. He'll create situations where he, he gets a mismatch or, or helps his teammate find one. You know, Kevin, LeBron will use his high screens to just kind of shuffle defenders, make them think. Once he sees an opportunity, he'll pounce all over it. You can see him do this the most at the end of close games. You know, even though LeBron doesn't go 100% every minute of every game in the season, G.A., he still knows when to turn it on. 
and for someone at his age, that is something you have to know how to do. You can see when LeBron kicks it into that next gear. Can't keep it on all the time, but he's still able to take over when he needs to. Unselfish play by Davis. He understands that his scoring could only take this team so far. He needs help from the guys around him. Now here's Middleton. And after defending on the shot, he doesn't give up on the play. Follow that straight to the glass for the rebound. Inside, Davis, the pass to James. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by James. And now another look at that mobile one block defensive performance. Emphatic with the rejection. You've got to appreciate that kind of forceful defense. Pat Connaughton, he's checked in for the Bucks. Milwaukee leading by five. Passes it to Lopez. Here's Middleton. And Davis sends it back. Good job by AD not giving up on the play. Tracking the ball, blocking the shot. Appreciate the hustle. Playing with high energy, outworking the defense up the floor. And I just love it when the fast break results in a high percentage look. Not always the case these days. And for everything that Anthony Davis does on the floor, you can't forget about his defense. Still an elite level defender, guards multiple positions and turns away a number of shots. Here's what Milwaukee's going with right now. Ilya Sova, he's checked in for Giannis Antetokounmpo and it's Dante DiVincenzo in for Chris Middleton. One shot. Free throw good, LeBron. And Davis gets a lot of blocks without getting in foul trouble. About a one-to-one -one ratio for him in his career. Uh, incredible. And he's done a great job of learning how to go straight up, playing vertical. Gets blocks, but doesn't get pulled out of position. Does everything you want from a defensive anchor. Now here's Bledsoe. Six points for him. Milwaukee, no good that time either. Right spot, wrong time. When the defense collapses on you, kick it out. That ties the game. You see the weight that 80s added to his frame over the years. Now invites contact. Bledsoe against James. The game has been very close in a lot of areas, but rebounding has been the one differentiator thus far. Caldwell Pope with a wide open look sinks the three-pointer. Caldwell Pope's got the lead up to three now for the Lakers. And so it's Bledsoe. He brings it up for the Bucks. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee. Trying to find some answers offensively. Yeah, these guys need to work together as a team, as a unit. Try and carve out some easy buckets. Some changes here for the Bucks. Robin Lopez is checked in for Lopez. And it's Hill in for Eric Bledsoe. The Lakers also changing it up. Kyle Kuzma's checked in for Caldwell Pope. Arjan Rondo is subbed in for James. Now here's DiVincenzo. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. I don't know how many misses that is in a row, but I know it's ugly. Outside for Rondo. Davis lots of room 
The rebound by the Bucks. I didn't see that miss coming. I mean, he's usually been money from that range. Here's Hill trying to end the drought. The shot comes out. Rondo with some nice D. Definitely got to use the clock here and get the last shot. But you know, this is where your patience is tested. If you shoot too quickly, you give your opponent a chance to close out the quarter. And guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with their work down low. Here's DiVincenzo. Connects in the foul line jumper. DiVincenzo's got his first points of the game. Just taking what the defense allows, and that's a shot he'll make all night. And that's it for the first half of action. What's been a very close game here. Lakers on top, up by three. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thank you, Kevin, here with Contavious Caldwell Popin. Contavious, you guys were getting a lot of offensive rebounds in the first half. How important was that? I mean, they was important, man. We got to keep them off the glass. Uh, we can't get them second shot, and we got an uh, offensive rebound too as well. Get us uh, some second chance at the basket. And just keep working hard. Well, you made it work in the first half, KCP. Thanks a lot. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. And we'll be back for the third quarter of action following halftime. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. We welcome you back. Ernie Johnson, a competitive matchup for the Lakers in the first quarter. They're in better shape now than they were at one point when they trailed by eight. They got motivated in that second quarter. The deficit they were staring at turned into a three-point lead in the locker room. What do you think, Kenny, about what we saw from the Lakers? Well, one place they had the edge was on the offensive boards. They converted those extra possessions into points. Nothing is more demoralizing to a defense than forcing a miss and then giving up a second attempt. The offensive glass is going to pay big dividends for them. And you, big fella, let's get your thoughts on the Bucks. Well, they're just not creating enough scoring opportunities, and they're pretty lucky they're not trailing by 15 right now, aren't they? They need to play more unselfishly, work for better spacing, go stronger to the basket. Thanks for joining us, folks. We're now just a few minutes away from the start of the third quarter. Second half of basketball upon us. We may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game it's been so far. Now Davis checking out the group of Frank Vogel to start the second half. LeBron and Green make up the backcourt. Davis is out there with Caldwell Pope, and it's Howard in its center, filling out the middle. Why does the pump fake work? Because of AD's height and ability to elevate. The defender knows he has to close hard to have a chance. Los Angeles shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. First free throw is good. The great thing about Anthony Davis, he's efficient. He shoots a great percentage from the field and from the line, and he doesn't turn it over. 